must understand, Katsumoto pledged his sword to defend the Emperor. They say that the samurai's sword is his soul. They're paradoxical people, Samurai. I've been trying to write a book about it for years, but they tend to get very much themselves. The bastards are still wearing armour. <laughs> yes, and when the Irish were still comporting themselves in loincloths, these chaps were already the most sophisticated warriors on earth. I need more detailed information to their battle tactics. I have several more books just waiting to be translated. Oh, the captain will be speaking the lingo in no time. You should hear him blathering on in Blackfoot. Really? A fellow linguist? Oh, capital. Oh, come on, sir. A word or two in the savage tongue. Just hello or goodbye or no, no, no. Cut his tongue out and boil him in oil. Early day tomorrow, Captain Darren. It's about bedtime, isn't it? I've always had a dread fascination with scalping. I've never quite understood its technique. Imagine someone who hates you with the utmost intensity grabbing a handful of your hair while you're lying prostrate and helpless. <laughs> then scraping a dull blade of a rusty knife around your scalp with a saw-like motion. And let your imagination grasp, if you can, Mr. Graham, the effect of a strong, quick jerk oh. on the turf of your hair to release any clinging particles would have on your nervous system. You'll have some idea of how it feels to be scalped, Mr. Graham. Mm. <clears throat> how soon can you translate those books? Right away. <laughs> I'm just delighted you're taking such an interest in samurai. I don't give a damn about the samurai. I don't know my enemy. I shall not sleep until it is done. <laughs> Ah, Saki. I bid you good night. Can I get you anything, sir? This is the punitive expedition, Captain. Colonel Bagley, these people had nothing to do with the raids. Good night, sir. Quietly now, boys. 